שבת שלום. 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 And everything, all the gifts and all the blessings that Shabbat brings, we welcome and we want to be open for. Page 10. Thank you. 
צדק ומשפט מחוד כיסו אף נפנה תלך ויצא ישראל.
23 and sing together the Chadodi.
27 is a few downs line will join in a few moments to sing together Magadlu
Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Listen, Israel. Adonai is our God. Adonai is one. These are the first words of prayer we learn as a child. These are the last words of prayer we recite before we die. These are the words which fill our prayers at the start of every new day. And these are the words which bring each night to a close before we go to bed. These are words we recite when we fear that we are in danger. We used to say them in the back seat when we got in the car with my grandfather behind the wheel. <laughs> if Judaism had a creed, this would be it. But it's a strange prayer. See, if belief in one God or in a singular divine force or source of life is really so central to Judaism, then why is this prayer, which is affirming that oneness, not addressed to the one itself, but instead is addressed to each other? Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Listen, Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Rabbi Shai Held notes how in the book of Eov, in the book of Job, Eov says about God, Vehu be'echad umi shivanu, that God is in the one, and who will answer God? Or if you think of the word yeshivenu is related to the root in the same word teshuva, it becomes vehu be'echad, God is in the one, umi shivenu, who will bring God back? Who will return the holy one to itself? The mystical text of the Zohar is concerned more about the first part of the text. Vehu be'echad, what does it mean to say that God is in the one? Rabbi Held explains the Zohar's answer this way. He says, Eov's point is not to affirm God's oneness, but to teach something entirely different. Namely, that God dwells be'echad, that God dwells in oneness, that is, amidst a people that has achieved unity of heart, a people that has overcome jealousy and hatred and strife. And until we can achieve that, God, as it were, is separate and apart from us. And the unity of all reality is fragmented, is shattered. And of course, we don't always agree with each other about everything that we may say or feel. And we may not even always understand each other. Of course we don't. And there is much about other people that we reject. But the Shema is asking each of us, can you bring just a little deeper humility, just a little deeper compassion, just a little more generosity and mercy to the divide that exists between you and another? The prayer is saying, Shema Yisrael, come together Israel, unite Jews. Because we can't affirm the oneness of God, we can't affirm the wholeness of the holiness in the world, the singular dignity and value of each and every human life, unless we can come together in unity and in love as a people, that the unity of all creation, of all reality will be lost on us if we don't embody it within our own people, within our own communities, within our own families. Take a moment and think of someone in your life from whom you feel disconnected, estranged, Cut off. Think of fractured friendships, divided families, embattled leaders, and consider for a moment that the unity of the world, the unity of all reality is waiting for you to reach out and to bridge the gulf that keeps you separated from that person. The Shema is not asking you to suddenly agree with all the ideas that you find problematic. The Shema is not asking you to believe things that you reject. The Shema is asking you to reach out beyond what it is that you disagree about, beyond what it is that you find ugly in one another, to remember, to make yourself a member once again of your shared home, of your shared community, of your shared people and of your shared society. On Shabbat, on the day on which we are meant to behold the manifold beauty of all creation, the day that we're meant to recognize the sacredness of all creatures, on Shabbat the Shema especially calls out to us to come together. And on Shabbat Yitro, on Shabbat Yitro, all the more so. 
in describing how Bnei Israel camped in the wilderness of Sinai opposite the mountain, the Parsha says, Vayichan sham Yisrael neged hahar. And wondering why Vayichan is written in the singular, they camped in the singular, instead of Vayichanu in the plural, Rashi explains, Vayichan sham Yisrael ki ish echad, belev echad. That they camped as if they were one person with one heart. The people were so united. Because the only way that the revelation of the Torah was going to be possible was if we transcended what it was that divided us so as to be able to stand together and to hear the divine call to holiness and to justice. Because division makes us deaf to that divine call. While unity sharpens our senses, it refines our powers of perception, and it readies our will to act. But how do I embrace the entire Jewish people? How do I honor all of creation and all creatures? How wide can my eyes possibly see? How expansive can my heart possibly be? Can I really behold and embrace everyone and everything? It feels overwhelming. It feels impossibly ideal. There is so much beauty in the world. I'll never be able to honor it all. But worse, there is so much pain in the world. And I will never be able to heal it all. And here's where the phrase, v'hu be'echad, that God is in the one, reveals its deepest truth. Our tradition of Tselem Elohim, of seeing each person as an image of the divine, teaches us, it teaches us that in each individual soul lives the shared soul of the Holy One. Look into the eyes of one single human being and you will see all of humanity. Vehu be'echad, God is in the one. As the late Elie Wiesel inspired us to understand, you alone may not be able to eliminate hunger from the world. But if you feed just one hungry person, you will have stood up for all who are hungry. That you alone may not be able to protest every injustice or every inequality in the world, but if you help just one victim of bias, if you help one frightened immigrant, if you help one desperate refugee, if you help one homeless person, you affirm the infinite value of each and every human being. You alone may not be able to reverse the ravages of climate change, but if you take one step towards living more sustainably, if you nurture one garden, if you protect one endangered animal, if you help put out one fire, just one, you declare the preciousness of the entire planet. You alone may be powerless against death, but if you help one person, if you help one child to live just one hour longer in safety, in comfort, and in dignity, then you proclaim the sanctity of all human life, and you proclaim every human being's right to live. You alone cannot love everyone in this world. But if you love just one other human being with tenderness and with devotion, you testify to the worthiness of every human being to be so loved. Vehu be'echad. God is in the one. Shema Yisrael. Come together, Israel. Unite, Jews. The world is waiting. Even God is waiting to be returned to and to be renewed to oneness. Shabbat Shalom. We rise for Baruch and prepare the, for the Shema Israel on page 39a. Maybe seated with you. 
page 39a and then on page 40. Once again, the blessings before the Shema. Forty-three <laughs> Page forty-four. <laughs>
לפנה אדוני את יעקב, וגאלו מיד חזק ממנו ברוך אתה אדוני, גאל ישראל. פש פורי פאי ואשכיבנו אדוני לנו שלום. גם אם אמר כן ואחר כך עוזר לשוב עד שלא מלך ונצא כן ונצא טוב ונפלא משהו אחד שנרגל בעיני. Shabbat is on page 47 facing Yerushalayim.
to remain standing and turn to page 53. <laughs> Elohim Shenu be misvotecha v'sim chalkinu v'tora tarsa v'nu mituach v'samer nafshenu v'shuata v'taher libenu le'ovdecha b'emet v'anhilenu anuna Elohenu be'ava u'ratzon shabbat kodshecha v'nu chuba kol Yisrael mekandeshe shemecha baruch ata anuna mekandesh hashabbat. 54 Kadishalim. <laughs> ולקחו לאל אמין כל ברכתה ושירתה תוש ברכתה ונחימתה למרים בעלמה ואמרו אמן. תתקבל צלות ונועותו לכל ישראל כבוד העם ארוני בשמי ואמרו אמן. Do 
Lucy's on page 55. If there are any children here, I see at least one child. If there are more children, we invite them to come up and we get a cup of juice. We invite also people who are here as guests who are visiting us for the first time or maybe for the second time. If you're a guest, please come up. We have a cup of juice for you. the kids to come into the Talit. Thank you. 
לעולם בעת. נאמן והיה אדוני Those who are in mourning in the Sumaka Yurtzeit are invited to remain standing. You'll find the Mourner's Kaddish on page 58. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemer haba. Be'alma adibra kirote v'yamlich malvute chayichon v'yomichon v'chaye l'chol v'et Yisrael ba'agala v'yizman kariv v'yimru amen. יהי שמר אבא מברך לעלם ולעלמי עלמיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמת לקודשם בריחו. לעילה מנכל ולחתה שידתה תושפחתה ונחמתה למירן בעלמה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמר אבא מן שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו May be seated. We didn't have a chance to offer Suzanne and Todd condolences last week on the death of Suzanne's father, Fred Schechter, and to your entire family. Uh, I'd like to invite everybody to come tomorrow morning for services at 9.30. Uh, we have, uh, we were supposed to hear from an extraordinary psychiatrist, Israeli psychiatrist, Dr. Esam Daoud, who works with refugees and with their ch children of refugees uh, in uh, the uh, island of Lesbos with Syrian refugees. Unfortunately, he's got the flu, and the doctor said, you can't fly. So he's in Haifa, and he's not going to be here tomorrow. But after Shabbat, watch the TED Talk of Dr. Esam Daod, D-A-O-D, Esam Daod. And you'll see and you'll hear about the work, that he, incredible work that he does, and hopefully he'll be with us the next time he comes to New York. On Tuesday, on Monday, there was a confusion about the time of the Minyan. It's a national holiday, President's Day. Minyan will be at 9.30, as all Sundays and national holidays. On Tuesday, we have an opportunity to learn about an issue that has been a controversial issue, difficult issue, educational reform on bail reform, educational forum on bail reform. We're going to learn from a number of people on this complicated issue. Please come. It's a very, really wonderful panel of experts. It will be at 7 here in the sanctuary. The doors will open at 6.30. If you want to see who is in the panel, You'll find our names in the Kodesh and It's really a, a really great panel to have this conversation and to try to sort out uh, this complicated issue of bail reform. Uh, on Friday, next week, next Friday, uh, there's an opportunity to have Shabbat dinner with Marcelo. Uh, there will be the uh, mindfulness service uh, next week. And then after the service, there's an opportunity to have uh, dinner with him. It's a potluck dinner. We'll provide a hot dairy entree and the challah. You bring the salads, the side dishes, and desserts. And you have to register after Shabbat. I, it doesn't say anything about wine, but I suppose if people want wine, you should bring wine. So check the Koli Shurun. I, I also want to say in the spirit of uh, Dini's uh, beautiful uh, Dvar Torah uh, about Echad and bridging the gaps and healing the divides and trying to understand people who think and practice different than we do, we have an opportunity now to engage in conversation in a series of conversations with members of Keilat Yeshurun, Keilat Jeshurun on the east side. They are, it's an Orthodox congregation. Uh, no congregation is uh, uniform and homogeneous, but there are many people there who are more conservative than members here who tend to be liberal. And so uh, we are going to engage in a eight encounter series or eight conversations, uh, two in the spring now, and then we're gonna pick it up uh, later in the fall. It's going to be moderated and uh, facilitated by our former shaliach and 
Director of Digital Engagement, Moshe Samuels, and we only have room for 12 people. 12 people from here, 12 people from there. If it's successful, we'll do it again. So uh, registration, I believe, is open, and uh, you can find it in the website. And we'll have to select only 12 people from. I'm sure there will be a lot of interest in this conversation. So uh, maybe we'll do a raffle. So uh, it's a very, I think, very necessary um, thing to do, to engage in conversation. We've done it with corrections officers from Michigan. We're doing it with um, members of our own community who live on the east side, from KJ, and we hope to do it in, with other groups with whom we feel we may have, we may have difference of opinion. <laughs> Finally, I want to say welcome to Rabbi Sharon Marcus and the Parks Park Senegal Confirmation Class of Cleveland, Ohio. Limud, yes. And then he reminds me that uh, this weekend is a Limud conference which is taking place at the Jewish Theological Seminary. On Sunday, if you'd like to have the opportunity, you can study uh, with Dini. Marcelo is also uh, giving a presentation on Sunday. There are a couple of other members, a few other members of our community who are also presenting after Shabbat. Go into the Limud website, Limud New York, and you'll find all the opportunities to learn, and uh, we hope everybody will avail themselves of this opportunity. Page 62, we conclude now with Yigdal Elohim Chai. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.